Arbitration is still very much the new kid on the block um, and it's a form of um, alternative dispute resolution that uh, many people have never heard of uh, and in, in, indeed many solicitors have still not heard of it or properly understand what it means. There's a misconception that arbitration is for rich couples um, but I think that what's going to happen is that as it becomes increasingly difficult for um, couples to have their cases heard in court because of cutbacks particularly but just also because of the time scales involved and the costs more and more people are going to look to our i hope more and more people will look to arbitration what's great about arbitration well it is a wonderful way of resolving a dispute that cannot be negotiated through solicitors or through mediation without having to go to court it allows you to control the process, it allows you to control the venue and to control the people involved in the process. So whereas you don't get to choose your own judge, you do get to choose your own arbitrator. It's a form of private judging and so the best thing about it is that you can, you have complete control over when it takes place, where it takes place and you decide, you choose between yourselves who is going to arbitrate the dispute for you. When you choose an arbitrator, you have a choice of a selection of very, very experienced lawyers, um, from QCs all the way through to uh, family solicitors. And you therefore can choose your arbitrator based on the experience that they are likely to have. Um, I'm a family law solicitor who has 20 years experience dealing with financial cases and children cases. At the moment, it isn't possible to arbitrate in children cases, but that is very soon to change. And it will be possible for you to use arbitration to resolve disputes concerning your children. Now, I think that's going to be wonderful because um, it seems to me that the worst place to try and resolve disputes about children is in court. Um, that can't be a, a, anything less pleasant than having to turn up in a, in a not particularly um, nice environment of a courtroom and a court waiting room, hanging around for hours to go and talk about your children. Um, much nicer to try and deal with that through arbitration if you can't resolve your issues through mediation. So arbitration works really well with mediation as well because you could um, easily find that you agree on most things in mediation but there may be just one issue, one point that you can't agree and you could use arbitration to resolve that one point. What you can't do is use the court service to do that. Um, and so arbitration really wins out in that respect because it, it does allow you to say, do you know what, we've agreed on everything, but we just can't agree on this one thing. And you can uh, agree to use an arbitrator to resolve that one issue for you. If you're busy, um, if you don't want to spend a lot of time sitting in an extremely unpleasant court waiting room, uh, waiting on a judge to find the time to see you, um, if you want to have time to talk to your solicitor and to actually, con you know, you have control over the time rather than you, you being told how to use that time by a judge. If you want that freedom, then arbitration is the best thing for you. A lot of people think that arbitration is more expensive than going to court, and it certainly isn't. Uh, yes, you do have to pay for the arbitrator's time, but of course that then means that you get to control that time. And so if you have a day and time chosen for an arbitration, um, but maybe your lawyers have started to negotiate before the arbitration was due to take place and uh, they're, they're making some progress and you want a bit more time to try and negotiate. Uh, the arbitrator isn't going to be rushing you into coming into court like a judge will because a judge will have many, many cases to hear that day. The arbitrator is yours and you're paying for the arbitrator. So that means that you get to use that time how you want to use it rather than how the arbitrator wants to use it. Uh, yes, as I said, you are paying for the arbitrator's time. But when you go to court, although you don't technically pay for the judge's time, you do pay for the, that time because you pay to have your solicitor sitting in the court waiting room, sometimes for hours without uh, make, uh, th that being productive time at all. So sitting for hours in a court waiting room unproductively, waiting to be heard by a judge. Uh, so 
As I said, although you're paying for the arbitrator, you have a great deal more control over the time that's actually used. You can also uh, choose the process yourself. So you may decide that you don't actually want to have a hearing in front of an arbitrator where you and your spouse have to go with your solicitors. Uh, you may decide that you want to do it by telephone appointment or that you would rather simply have your solicitors write letters to the arbitrator. Um, and that's again perfectly acceptable if it's something that you both agree. That isn't something that you can do in court proceedings.